Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. Are you like me that when you buy a used car you have to immediately go and check all the fluids lever and make sure everything's okay? Well, that's what I always do and in this video let's start with the easiest thing ever. Let's go and check the engine oil. Of course, if you are a person who trusts others, you can just get in and compare the sticker which is on the window, right, with your odometer and see if you are still good, but that's not enough for me. So let's get under the hood and check the engine oil. To get under the hood, uh, Mercedes, Mercedes has this red lever. All right, I heard it popped. This is not exception like all the other Mercedes or most of them has this lever here in the grill, right? So we lift it. Oh, in this engine everything is covered. But immediately look, you don't have to lift the covers. That will be the engine oil dipstick, right? So I will just have a clean rag, right? To wipe the dis dipstick, to get it out and wipe it off. And wow, what happened here? The dipstick is missing. And after removing that plastic cover, searching for another possible oil dipstick, of course, all you just find is the automatic transmission tube, which doesn't have a dipstick either. You have to buy the service tool, right? So I think at this moment we realize together that this is the motor engine without the engine oil dipstick. So how do you check the engine oil level, you are asking, right? Well, come with me and I will show you. This car uses its computer to check the engine oil level, so we are going back into the car. Now in order to perform this procedure to check the oil level in the engine, the vehicle must be parked on level ground, be at normal operating temperature, that means the engine has to be hot, and have been parked without engine running for at least five minutes. If all that is valid, I will put the key ignition and turn it in the position number two. And the next step will be using these buttons to select the oil level measuring. Right? So it says observe waiting period. It basically says that I didn't wait five minutes. Look how precise that computer works. That's awesome. I've been waiting over five minutes, so let's try again. All right. So it's measuring now, and you know, level it's okay. Isn't that easy and awesome? So I should be happy and smiling, right? The computer measured it for me, it said it's all perfect, so yeah, done. Well, I'm pain in ass and I realized that we measured the quantity, but what's about the quality of the oil? Is it really messed up and dark and black? Or is it still nice and clean and good condition because it has a high quality filter and there is a full synthetic mobile one oil? We don't know. So I'm back under the hood and I will actually use my transmission fluid level tool, right? And I will try to get the quality, try to reach that engine oil and see in which shape it is. Because that really matters. Okay, I have that rack right here. Oh! Well, it actually looks excellent. It's slightly brown, but 
Yeah, this oil is still very, very good shape. I'm very happy right now. Of course, I don't forget to put that plug back where it belongs, right? Oil is not coming out. Excellent. And after seeing the results, I feel way better because I know that engine oil is still in the really good shape and there's no reason to replace it very soon. I'm very happy, 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 happy. And I hope you enjoyed this video and in some way it was helpful to you. If you did enjoy it, you can give it a thumb up. Definitely make sure you are subscribed because I have way more videos about Mercedes-Benz vehicles coming your way very soon on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.